It is unconscionable. No privacy in her own home spied on morning, noon, and night. I'm lodging a complaint. I know, Maida. I, I, believe me, I'm with you on this. But actually, Agent Aitoro is out making the world a better, happier place. So you want to pull up a chair and wait? Why? Why is he doing this? Aren't there enough real criminals to keep him busy? Why does he have to focus all his time and attention on Danny, who has turned out to be a model citizen? I know. See, you're going to have to ask him these questions yourself, though. Oh, my. What? When do you do? Excuse me? Oh, Harley, I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. That was rude. No, 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 no. I, I... Please, uh, please, just, just forget I opened my big fat mouth. No, 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 don't feel bad. I just, I, did, I didn't realize that I was quite so obvious. Well, you're not. You're not at all. It's just, I, I'm way, way too observant. And you do look so beautiful. You should have been a mother, Mida. Well, in a way, I am. Being a great aunt has very special privileges. You get the pleasure and... Not too much of the blame. But I'm sure there are special times when it's... when it's difficult not having a mother. It's important that I finish these files, okay? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I... By the way, uh, I haven't made it public. My pregnancy, I, I, I just want to wait till everything's okay. Oh, yes, v very wise. I mean, my brother does know. And actually, uh, Rick knows too. He has not said one word to me. Well, he's a very good friend. <laughs> That's nice to know. Actually, my, my rage has subsided, at least for the moment, so... Um... Would you pass along my comments to Mr. Arturo? With pleasure. Harley, if I had had a daughter, I have a feeling she might have been a little like you. When I, when I was young, they used to say I was difficult. <laughs> I took that as a compliment. I thought, who'd want to be easy? Easy sounded mushy and boring. You're not mushy or boring. I like that. It's not going to be a picnic, two children to raise alone. But you're going to be fine. Just fine. Thank you. Uh, would you give Agent Arturo a big swift kick in the pants for me? <laughs> Dr. Sedwick, hi. <laughs> I'm ready for you. Good, good, good. Uh, were you waiting for someone? No, no, I'm just a little um, antsy. Thank you so much for seeing me so late and on such short notice. Listen, I have two patients in the early stages of labor, and I'm going to do a lot of sitting around, so it wasn't any problem. Oh, thank you. It's appreciated anyway. Are you in any discomfort? No, physically I'm, I'm fine. Uh, and emotionally? Well, I'm... That's something else. I just, um, I've reached this point where I feel like if, if I don't have a, a better handle on what's happening with this pregnancy, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> All right, come on in and we're going to give you some answers, we hope. Okay. 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 reality. Hi. 
Oh, hi. Um, <clears throat> were you waiting for me? Yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, I was. Why? Just want to tell you that, uh, you know, I'm glad you're here and glad that you're doing, doing the right the thing. Doing the right thing. Yeah. Harley, it is the right thing. You know, monitoring your pregnancy, seeing an obstetrician on a regular basis, following my advice. Don't do that. Harley, is baby okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's... Well, the baby's, the baby's okay, and you're taking care of yourself, so... What's, what's the problem? Is it, is it Philip? Philip has absolutely nothing to do with this. Believe me. Well, I... I'm, I'm very confused here, because usually I can make you laugh, or at the very least make you smile, even when the jokes are bad. Well, I guess this is just a very unusual situation for you. Okay, well, look, Carly, all I want to tell you is that I'm glad that you're here and that everything's okay, because nothing's more important than the baby's health right now, except yours, and you're taking care of that, too. So... Until now, until the due date, you just got to keep seeing Dr. Seven. You know what, Rick? You know what? Just save it. I I'm making all the decisions here, okay? What's your point, Harley? I mean, you're the doctor, right? I I'm the mother, so basically I outrank you. And, and for your information, I didn't come down here because of some advice that you gave me. I came down here because I decided that it was the right time for me. So from now till my due date, or whenever you decide that you want to give me some baby advice, do me a favor and just stuff it.